stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Buffalo Bills. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis. And now it's second down. To throw it's Allen. That's complete to Davis. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already into field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Play action. Now it's Allen. And Thomas has it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now Allen. Flush to his right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. going to throw. Just keeping the play alive. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. 
Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. No return here for Clay Brooks, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Now, this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On play action, they'll throw. Finding some room at midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Dancing away at the 35. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And he'll give it here to his running back. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Early down stuff to put this offense in precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Oh, here we go. Oh. 49, 49, guys. Mike, Mike, 49. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll run here on third and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. Rodrigo. 
So on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Blankenship's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three. And, I think and he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Here's second and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Forced out to his left. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big game there for the Bills. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary. And that is caught. Touchdown. Oh, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have taken the lead. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And the lead is now 10-3. to three. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. at the line this Philly offense set to go and they've got less than 30 seconds to go here so not a lot of time to work with but it's caught on the right side it's Smith and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds but one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play never lock in on any one guy make sure you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup they'll look to throw here on first down finding a safety valve here that's complete and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 
and a nice gain and a, and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And yeah, this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. offense sent to begin their next drive it's been a tight game to this point what do they need to do Charles to break through in the second half and take the lead well I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game and you know I think the defense is saying back to them why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs put some drives together give us a little bit of a break here if we can get some rest we'll play even better for you and oh by the way pay off a few of those drives with some points too now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. 45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down and five. On the toss, Madison. 
Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They're losing here in the third quarter, maybe trying to get the ball outside, bust a big play. Obviously didn't work there. Yeah, and while it didn't work, it, I really can't fault them for trying it. You and I have talked to the offensive coordinator, and we knew that, that was a place they wanted to try and go, and sometimes you just have to stick with it because yard gains turn into 20-yard gains as the game goes along. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from the pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Allen taking it himself. Probably helps your confidence level on those fourth down sneaks to have a quarterback as tall as he is. Yeah, you're talking about being able to extend at the end and make sure the ball gets to the first down marker. But also, he has to be able to drop his hips and get down behind that offensive line in order to move forward. Because if he just runs it straight up and down, you and I both know that they'll snap him backwards. Well done there. Well executed. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? To the right side and complete to Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down at inches. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. They'll run it with Jones. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. 
third and inches, just turn around and hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big game there for the Bills. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one rips, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Play action, Allen. They'll roll him out right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Blankenship out for the point after. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. Allen throw complete there to Thomas. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Allen. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. They wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Here's Allen on first and 10. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain on the screen there at second down. Now Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Now, Green, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Eagles.
Cardinals look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. Let's take it in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together. Oh, Allen cannot get away. And down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It got his man complete. Use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing is Allen. Flush to his right. His throw incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Uncorks one for Davis. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off down at the 10. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Eagles...